Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. Once it stops, you're detained. Right? You're, oh, I'm the work you're crime. detained. We're investigating breach of peace. You're detained. You cannot leave until I tell you free. I did nothing wrong. Once again. This video is brought to us by Hartford County Audit. Their link will be down in the description. Subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. The video begins with a man being refused service by a lady behind a desk at the New Britain PD. A cop tries to intimidate the man by getting into his face and then unlawfully detains him, apparently breaching the peace. The cop doesn't think that the man is listening to him. Watch the full clip next. This get posted all over the news and everything. Say what again? For how long, ma'am? Are you available now to speak with at the, at the, front, ta at the front table? Are you available now? There, I see like five of you guys over there, so I need somebody to help me, please. Officer who? Uh, I can't hear you. Can you come to the desk so I can hear you, please? Like a professional woman, come to the desk so I can hear you. I can't hear you, ma'am. Officer Oksenko. How you doing? Can I get I your name and badge number? Sure, it's Officer Oksenko. Can you back up a little bit in my space, Can please? you not put your hand in my face? I'm not in your face. Okay. There's no crime committed, so, right? So, I'm so, asking you for a favor. You're oh, kind of invading oh, my space oh, right now. You okay. came, came I'm, antagonizing. I'm came you're getting to, in my face. I don't know why confrontational is me. I came to talk to you. There is no confrontational. I'm asking you a little bit in my space. Can you please back away just a little bit, Officer? Once and again. Can you, can you please get a hand in your pocket? I feel unsafe. Okay, once again. SWAT officer, I'm asking you for a favor. Can you okay. please get out of your hand? Can you, Can you please normal? get your hands out of your pocket? You I need to feel safe, officer. Okay. What's going I am on? No, I am a normal human being. What's going on? I'm asking you. I feel unsafe. Can you please get What's your hand out of your pocket? I'm asking you. Can you please get your hand out of your pocket? What's going on? I need to identify yeah, what your hands are doing over there inside your pocket. Can you please get your hands out of your pocket, sir? Here's the deal. Freedom of speech. Are you violating my rights? Here's the deal. Are you violating my rights? You can't. Are you violating my rights, officer? In front of others for no reason. Says who? Says the law. What crime? What crime is that? Explain to me what's the what's the penal code is that? I'm trying to explain it to you, but what you're is being difficult. What is the crime? I'm trying to explain it. To what you, is the you're crime, officer? Difficult. You're not answering my question. What is the crime? You're being difficult. You alarmed these girls enough to call us and ask for help. I did. I asked them. I asked them for help. They wasn't service as me. Once again, you alarmed these girls enough Once again, for them to call us and ask for help. What is your name? That sir? is breach of peace. I just told you, it's Officer Alexanko, badge number 418. Okay, but you understand my first and fourth amendment right, right? You do not, Freedom of speech, you are not right? listening. When you alarm, I'm telling you. when you alarm others to the point that they have to call the police the officer time. and ask for help, that yeah, is because not okay. They, they wasn't servicing me. Can you ask them to help me, please? Once again, I just told you, they are breaching their peace. Do you understand that? I'm not Do you peace. understand that? Why are you getting on hands? Because you are not you're listening. You're getting agitated. Once again, you're not listening. Okay. So at this point, we need to see what happened. So one second. Yeah, I got it on record. Yeah, I got okay. it on record. Thank you. Okay. Once it stops, you're detained. Right? You're, oh, you're, I'm the work you're crime. You're detained. We're investigating breach of peace. You're detained. You cannot leave until I tell you free. I did nothing wrong. Once again, we're investigating the incident. Investigating what? I got it on video, sir. We can, so you refuse to show the video to my supervisor and now he's going to go and talk to witnesses because this is my property sir once, once, I don't and that's your right and I don't have your right. the right and to and search and seize right. and that's your right you don't have to show the video if you don't want to but mm -hmm. at the same time we need to investigate the incident so now we'll go and talk to our witnesses and go from there yep. but at this point you're detained absolutely my witness is over there too so this is a job so this is unlawful detain sir this is unlawful detain with just a freedom of speech I didn't, I didn't get loud all right sir Yep. They handed you some forms. Did you turn on the No, I was requesting some other services, but they denied me services. So that's not a criminal got, offense. That's you freedom of speech. Those forms out okay. You have to report you looking for. Okay. If you want to submit those, you can do so. If not, then your business here is done. You need to leave. Okay, so. I still don't have his name. Get okay, thank you. So I was, under t I was detained Girl, for what reason? Set. You were leaving now. Oh, no. Go. But I'm asking you, what was I detained for then? You had been arrested in the past. Okay, so why was I detained today, though? He's That's what I want to ask. Because it's only detained because we were investigating the breach of peace incident. That's a, a breach of peace? Yep, you're all set. So that was a lawful detainment, right? Correct. The first sign that you're dealing with an unprofessional officer is when they stand really close to you and almost block your camera from recording. On top of this, also positioning their hands around their waist where their pouch and equipment are. Clearly, he is trying to make the man feel intimidated. 
If someone doesn't agree with an officer, even when the officer is clearly wrong, why do they say you aren't listening? Clearly, the man is listening, and that's why he isn't agreeing with you. I'm interested in how the man breached the peace, and that led to the cop unlawfully detaining him. No, you guys don't understand. We know the law perfectly. This clip is brought to us by Michigan Constitutional Crusader. Their link will be down in the description. Subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. The clip starts off with a group of auditors at the Flat Rock, Michigan City Hall. A public employee does the old film them back trick, thinking it will get them anywhere or affect the person recording. He ends up calling the feelings enforcement, and when I tell you, boy, they live up to that name. The men recording end up educating the cops because obviously their job is not to cater towards people's feelings and watch until the end to see a cop run away from the camera. See what they think of our First Amendment rights. Can I get your face, sir? Nope. Should I ask what you're doing? You can ask. Do I need to get the police up here? What are they going to do? Videoing a government building. Yeah, which is perfectly legal. Learn the law. That's weird. Oh. Didn't say it was illegal. I said you need a tissue for your issues? Hmm? Do you need a tissue for your issues? Good like it. He's still doing the cam yeah, back over yeah, there. She was. He's cam back. She's cam back. He's That's cam hilarious. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Well, I know so. Okay. It's called freedom of speech. I'm from the Supreme Court. Are you about the Supreme Court? No, I'm not. Okay. Are you? No. Okay. I'm not trying to deprive anybody's rights here today. Oh, what are you doing here? Fire department. You can see what we're doing. Any reason for that? Mitchell. Well, it's our Constitution right in the First Amendment. Yes, I'm feel bad that you're trying to make a right here. Well, no, I'm here. I'm media. The media? Yeah, I'm media. Freaking media. Media? Freaking media. Freaking media? Is that the name? Freaking media. Oh, I see. Okay. Trying to see it's a national station or not? Oh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. Okay. So, the only reason I'm asking you is just because you're making a lot of people uncomfortable. Well, I know, but making somebody uncomfortable is not breaking the law. And if I'm lawfully allowed to be here doing what I'm doing, then their feelings really don't matter. They're public employees. They're, 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 they're subject to being scrutinized by the public, right? And the thing is, you right? see, they're creating oh, like public records right now, That's all. and those are all FOIA, FOIA all requested, out, uh, which means that they're going to go through your phone and get that video when I FOIA request it. Well, I hope you don't have, and if you delete it, it's a federal, listen real carefully. If you delete it, you become disorderly, it's a federal crime. It's a federal crime. The delete of private videos. Did you understand what I just said? I'm recording. It's not private when you're doing it in the court. So your duties as a public official. And don't worry about it. I do. Okay. You need to take it down, officer. No, I don't need to take it down, officer. Well, the reason why he might. Listen, arguing with them is not going to do any good. They obviously don't understand. Oh, we're just trying. No, you guys don't understand. We know the law perfectly well. We just came in to take our pictures, and we was going to be done, but then they all flaked out. All you guys, you guys show up. So if they're all flat, we'll walk out together. Yeah, yeah, you're free to go, man. You're just next. I mean, you guys too. Oh, we'll leave them already, but I mean, you guys are dismissed. There's no need for you guys to be here. We have no ill will or intent. We're not here to cause a disturbance, be disorderly, be menacing, harassing, break the law, or anything like that. We're here doing what we're So, are you in charge of him? I'm not in charge of nobody. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, private, I'm, a, I'm a private citizen. You know what I'm saying? He is as well, and he is as well. It's not like we're a group. Mm -hmm. We're just saying, don't get too close to what? Can I get your badge number, sir? 1799. Thank you. I can take this. And your badge number, sir? Thank you. See, we live in a free country, guys. They say what they want. Boy, that guy ran fast. Yet again, we have some trying to record them back. Surely these people don't think that this will affect the people recording. If anything, they probably like it as it shows a reaction from the person. And these types of workers will always end up calling the cops. They call for the feelings police and that's exactly what they got. Rightfully, the men recording speak to them and educate them. And if you couldn't think these cops could get any more professional at their jobs, 
One of them decided to run away from the man recording and certainly made it extremely obvious as well. I'm identifying myself. I'm a business owner. Yep. Uh, this is a citizen arrest. Uh, uh, we're not committing. Along. We're not committing a reasonable fe felony. So this clip is brought to us by Lizard Media. Their link will be down in the description. Subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. The clip starts off with two auditors filming a wine store from outside on a public sidewalk. The store owner tries to place them under a citizen's arrest. This really is hilarious. What a joke. Both of the parties then called the police. Thankfully, the cops who arrive are extremely professional and they educate the store owner who was obviously in the wrong here. Watch the full clip to see the store owner try and conduct a citizen's arrest. What company do you work for? I, I don't self-identify while I'm working. Okay. Well, I'm identifying myself. I'm a business owner. Yep. Uh, this is a citizen arrest. Uh, uh, we're not committing. Wrong. We're not committing a reasonable fe felony, so you cannot place us under citizen's arrest. Well, I can't, but I'm, I'm telling you, so I'm going to call the police, and they're going to come out and deal with it. That's fine, but you're, we're not under citizen's arrest. Just so you know, sir. He he tried to place us. He tried to place me under citizen's arrest, even though we're we're not committing a reasonable felony. Dude, that's yeah. No, what was he saying? He came out and he said, uh, what what company do you work for? So I told him I don't self-identify while I work. And he goes, well, I'm identifying and you're under citizen's arrest. All this? Yeah. Oh, From which store? I this think one. it was this store. This he's, store. he's the one that's placed me under citizen's all right, arrest. All right, they don't have our permission to I'll, I'll, I'll go inside and talk to you. Okay. I'll come back out and talk to you. All right, thank, thank you. you. How are you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. Names and badge numbers, if I could. <laughs> Absolutely. Zane 31631. There is many 31590. Question. Are you guys with the police department or just the so ranger? We, you guys respond to both. We work for the police department. Perfect. We're part, work for this one. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. So, how are you guys doing today? Doing all right. A little hot out. Yeah. <laughs> a little toasty. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. You want to go in there and, He's uh, already in there. Somebody, yeah, there's an officer already in there. Okay. They citizens arrested us for filming in <laughs> public. Attempted to. Yeah, he tried to. <laughs> so as soon as that happened, I, I called you guys. Man, oh, gotcha. another one and another one. You guys came quick to this. Do you guys have your own series or something like that? No, we just posted on Instagram and stuff. It's okay. not, you know. The only reason we're here so long is because they called the cops on yeah. us. So we do like two, three minutes each spot. We talk about it and, you know, we, we, tra we just travel and do this. Okay, so, awesome. yeah. okay. Well, it's not illegal to film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. I, I, I know. Yeah, I we've know been what I'm doing. Making sure not to go into the store or anything. Okay. We don't encroach. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that do what we do. They're all up in the window. We don't even do that. Okay. I stay all the way back as much as possible, making sure I leave 18 inches or so for people to walk behind us that don't want to be filmed. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm doing everything as polite as possible. When they come out, I explain. Yeah. And I try to explain to her, and she just kept saying, I'm trying to rob the place, and I'm trying to come back. I'm like, all right, I'm done. I was like, there's <laughs> got to be a point to close the conversation. So I ended the conversation. She came up here, told him. He came out, saying we needed permits. So I was like, no, you're, you're incorrect. This is not that kind of filming. We're not with the movie. Yeah, we're not making a commercial. Yeah. So, no, you guys are always super professional up here, so I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Although I've never had park, I never had park ranger response. So this is my first. Can I get name badge numbers from you two real quick? Yeah, sure. Kennedy three one four six four. It's Craig three one five six two. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, the only thing was because the. The female that was in the other business. I just explained to her how that all went down. And I explained yeah. to her everything, and she understands now. She wasn't really aware of what could and couldn't be done. Yeah. But because I, they, they've been vandalized in the past and things like that. So and she, I have oh, sensitivity yeah. so that's, that's that. That's understandable. I was trying to explain to her what we're doing. Yeah. I, I even had him come. He doesn't have to wear all this because he doesn't get burnt like I do. <laughs> uh, so I tried to have him come down. Like, can you talk to her maybe? Like, and it, it, She didn't want the conversation. She wanted yeah, to yeah. panic and have a freak out. So well, at that they, point. They've all been advised. They all understand now. So He doesn't. He came out <laughs> showing him case law. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's Google. <laughs> so normally, I, about a minute after you leave, we'll move on. I got to move on, man. I'm standing here in this. I got you. It's, it's, it's kind of hot. I got you. Yeah, I'm hot too. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Please. 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 Yeah. But all right, we'll let you guys, uh, we'll get out of you guys' hair. Do your finger, for man. Me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> all right, all right, you guys. All right, guys. Thank you, you guys. Today. You have a good one. Thanks for TV safe. Bro. I work right, more guys. than you. Just because you put a costume on don't mean shit. Take it off and come talk, tough guy. Remember, just like we were in the lobby. Are you part of me? 
I'm not threatening you. Right. I this video is brought to us by the Constitution State. The link will be down in the description. Subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. The video begins with a man confronting an officer by the name of Rosado. They have clearly had many bad encounters with this same officer in the past, and judging by the beginning of this encounter, I could see why they've had problems with him before. It seems that the officer is mad that the man is recording. The man claims that he is one of the worst cops as a school resource officer. That's a big claim. Watch the full clip and let me know if you guys agree with the man's claim here. You gotta go around. Right. What up, man? Okay, cool. No. Where's your money come from, dude? Who pays oh, you? Oh, this is the guy who doesn't know who pays him. Yeah. No, no, I do because... He doesn't know how to treat the public. Yeah, we pay a lot of times. He's an officer and he doesn't even yeah, know how to treat yeah, the public. I understand that, but the town also gets federal... School resource officer. This, this loser... This unhinged, this, this unhinged loser. Money and paying taxes with the money that we gave you to pay taxes with. So you're not paying anything. It doesn't wrong. matter. You pay taxes with our taxes. You fuck. <laughs> dummy. I pay taxes too. I pay t with our taxes. You dummy. Right. I pay. T I work more than you. You bum. That's true. I work it's more true. than you. It's I true. work more than we you. Work circles around you. I work more than you. Just because you put a costume on, don't mean take it off and come talk, tough guy. Remember, just like we were in the lobby. I'm not threatening you. Oh, I'm telling you to come have a conversation. Yeah, exactly. But you always hide behind that little tin. Take it off and talk like men. Take it however you want. I'm changing right now. I'll All be right. here. We'll be here. What, hey, what are you going to do, do, Buttercup, man? Why did you say I was out here yesterday? I wasn't out here yesterday. Why are you whining about a job? I work more than you do, you fairy. I know. I know. So don't talk about it. Don't talk about stuff you don't know. Let's not talk about stuff we don't know. Let's not talk about stuff we don't know. Let's talk about stuff we don't know. Why don't we? Let's not talk about stuff we don't know. Nah, nah. He doesn't even know who pays him. This dude's a clown. He doesn't even know where his money comes from. He's a clown. He's a clown. He's a clown. You fairy. And I think he's mad because I'm here filming, and I think he wants to leave, but he's mad I'm I'm filming, even though we've already watched him walk over to whatever car it would assume to be his. You think I'm the only one he does this with? I doubt it. Then he came out, went to his vehicle, kept staring at me, ran back in on his phone, so I just wanted to make sure we were live in case he's trying. You know what I mean? We know they're famous for making stuff up. And if anybody approaches me, I'm not even in the mood to talk. The school resource officer, one of the worst, in my opinion, and I think in a lot of opinions, people's opinions, he's the school resource officer. He is. There was certainly some tension between these guys here. It looks like in their previous encounter, the officer doesn't know that they are funded by taxpayers' money. It's safe to say the man recording definitely doesn't like this cop as well as the other man with him. There were some insults thrown around. I think the man recording really wants to inform the officer where the money he gets paid comes from. One of the worst cops as a school resource officer. Do you guys agree with the man? Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.